Hola, good people. Welcome back to my channel, Bob's Corner. Today, I'm going to be watching season one, episode four of Ozark. The last thing I remember is that they finally found a place to start laundering through and basically doing repairs and um, just sprucing the place up. We started like a new deal so they could get more customers coming in. They moved into their new house. Um, the guy who lives there walks around naked. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And there's, an FB, there's a couple of FBI agents that are basically like snooping around trying to figure out what exactly, uh, what kind of business they're involved in that's illegal. And there were some people following the wife home. I forget her name, but they were following her to the grocery store. And yeah, but she didn't mention it to Marty. And I'm wondering why, because I feel like that's something you should know. But I guess she doesn't want to stress them out. But yeah, that's all I have as far as a recap. So let's get right into it. Jewel bank from any country that doesn't have to listen to the IRS. It then goes into a standard checking account. And voila. All you need is access to one of over three million terminals. Because your work is done. Your money's clean. It's as legitimate as anybody else's. <laughs> You don't recognize me without my tits in your face? Oh, that's the girl. Mm -hmm. Actually, my name's Margaret. Are they all like this? With no company name, just a number? Mm hmm. Illegal! Go to the safe. It's in the office. You sure? Yeah. I'm gonna suck you off. Oh, can you get that to the microphone, please? She was about that action. It closed. Before you were asking. We did something with the money. Maybe real estate. Real estate? Yes, an investment. Wendy, I'm trying to save our fucking lives here. That helped your new career. <laughs> Damn. I love how Marty is so like about business, like very straightforward. It's giving Capricorn energy. Shout out my Capricorns. Is he naked? Oh, no, he's not naked this time. Does it hurt? What? Dying. Oh, Hello, we, Jonah. We're all dying the minute we're born. Goes fast. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Would you die without that oxygen? Yeah, I don't know. Am I dead yet? Hmm? Yeah. I'm trying. You don't know. Sanitize that first. Ugh. That's up his nose. Yuck. Yo. Cool. At least Wendy trying to make some shape. I'll give her that. She stopped. She's got an idea. Eduardo, Eduardo. Un conflicto de interest? No? Gracias, amigo. Okay. Uh, Shirley. 
Um, Any chance you could throw on a, a windbreaker or something? It's 94 degrees outside. Yeah, well, if it's readers you're after, why don't you put some Shakespeare on your ass? That's small. You know, it's 2017, but it's not okay to slut shame. Well, it's not okay to wear, you know, John is shorts. Unbelievable. Tell us you mean the lawyer. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a big chaos espanol. I was raised to hate the Cubs. And I was raised to hate the Cardinals. Fifty bucks says the Cards beats the Cubs in this weekend series. Okay, you're on. Hey, she's 15, asshole. <laughs> Who are you just texting? Well, that ain't your business. Because that's what this place is. It's, it's my business. Period. Do you know, um, last week, after the O'Connors came, people have certain expectations when they come to a place like this. I mean, they want clean silverware. They want unlimited refills on their coffee. And they want to know that when they are done eating and they come home, all their shit is still going to be there. Period. She's a fucking thief. She ain't shit. She's not shit. <laughs> Hello? Talk my money, money. Um, it's good. Dun dun dun. I expected start and move. I haven't even seen a million yet. So when you say it's starting to move, what do you mean? Like it's check is in the mail? Uh, you're gonna have around 500 small in 48 hours. The deal was eight large. Okay, this is feeling like a slow well, trickle. Yeah, it's not even uh, Fourth of July, so American Independence Day. That's right. You know what else comes to July? I don't know. My birthday. Eight mil. No. I want a good night's sleep. A good ship. And several million clean from you. I can help with the last. Just admit it, Marty, you fucked. We're gonna kill your family gently. And be done with all this madness. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say to that. This is your clinical trial. He knows that. Hello? He being all extra, it's not like Marty not trying, like, ugh. He being annoying right now. That was being annoying, because he's saying stuff that Marty already knows, like, I'm gonna kill your family if you don't get my money, like, he know that, like, kind of beating a dead horse now. Nice. Nice. Uh, business questions like that asked in that way that you're going to want to avoid. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Is that business locking Listen, up? I don't like to give extraneous details. There's a safe, and I need the contents. And anything else would be extraneous or counterproductive. And what's on the inside? So we're we getting the extraneous again. It's at my risk. I want 80%. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's your boss. I hope that I'm not going to have to negotiate every... I'm going to give you 25%, and that's it. How about a nod? Great. Thank you. The Tupac shirt is sending me. She's so greedy. Ambitious in her own way, but also greedy. He got her and the cousins. Arrested. 2010. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna take him in and try to bribe him? Like, sorry, Missouri. Stripping might be every girl's dream, but it might not be for every girl. 
Raven. Turn around. She ain't got none. What you talking about? Turn around. Pull your pants up. Up high. Up more up your ass. Okay. That'd be something to work with. Turn back around. I don't really see nothing too much back there, but okay. Move on to the audition part of the interview. <laughs> Go on, close the door. What if she get made though when he find out like he's trying to get his ass? I hope he don't hurt her. Or like rape her or something. That would be awful. Yeah. Is she really going to? So dark way. Suck itself, sweetheart. Oh, I guess you're right. Stripping isn't for everyone. She 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 saw where the safe is though. I'm afraid she's gonna get made because He's come to the lodge, but he's come to Blue Cat before to get his boat filled up. So what if he sees her there one day and he puts two and two together, like Marty sent her? I don't know if he would do that. Please don't tell me something else died over there. Did he find something? Oh no. Damn. What killed it? You took it home? I ain't taking it home. Yikes. What kind of expenses? Call out cameras. Alarm system. I'm gonna have to go during business hours. You care to tell me exactly how you plan on doing that? Yeah, it's really a situation where the less you know, the better. <laughs> I can't stand her. Marty, you there? Um, yeah. Whatever you need, it's fine. Why is he doing that? Is he finna stuff it? It can just be a phase. Remember, thirteen year old boy. He think he killed it. He didn't kill it. Thirteen year olds, you know, go through a disemboweling animals phase. I just, I just think he needs to find a friend. I know someone. There's no way it's that. This, this, this is a normal kid that that is that is having some sort of illness and death fixation. That's that's normal. Yeah, but what if he's that? You know that strange, beautiful kid who. One day goes and shits doesn't give me that energy, even though he does watch that stuff. And I think it's, I will say that Jonah doesn't give me that energy. Like he's very sweet. And he was looking at some of the videos of like the Mexican cartel, which I think is disturbing. And that's not something he should look at. If it is true that he is like killing these animals, it's like, why? What is he getting out of that? And I hope he's not turning into some kind of like sinister child. Because I really, really like Jonah. I hope that's not what's going on. Hey, what happened? Are you crazy? 
I'm in here with the safe, but I can't get it open. You really want me to know the ins and outs of a fucking Draco 5700 safe? No, I don't. I want you to break in the safe and get me what's inside. What if I get shit in there? I gotta get out. Wait a second, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. How big is that safe? I don't know, like the size of a microwave? Pick it up. No, I can't. I got Go. Five minutes. Wait for him. Be right there. This is so dangerous. I'm scared. Jesus Christ. What's in there? Papers. It's no money. Damn, what if they broke this shit open for nothing? The distraction work though. I'll give her that much. It's like tax documents. What the fuck did you trick me into? 25% of some worthless shit? Did you just shine the light down here, please? Oh my god. <laughs> if I get popped for this, I'll be sold out for years. For what? Did you kill me? Shut the fuck up. Give me the light. Stupid ass. Uh huh. Secret compartment? This is good. This is, this is good. What is that? What is it? This is good. That's very good. So I get this beautiful fucking paradise. Yeah. <laughs> so your ex. She hot at least. No, she. He. Don't worry. I only fuck guys who want to get fucked. Oh, you went out like lies or spilling out of your mouth, reading your fucking pancakes, pretending everything's fine. When really last night you said you think Jonah might shoot up a school? We were very concerned. Jonah had. Did you say it or not? Just tell the truth. They think I shoot up a school? No. Come on. Sweetheart, it's just something you said. She did. She did. She's so disgusted with them. smell was that for? Question. Unless it has something to do with the fact that Panama is a hub for 
Let me wonder. Walk a fucking lawyer! You want to pay a man you want? The one that sets up the show companies for you to launder your money into your club? I mean, what are the odds that we've both done considerable time in Panama? That's like, think about that. How is that possible? How, if you never put your name on a company, you never even own the company? I don't get it. I mean, it's something to ponder, isn't it? I mean, that guy would have to be in possession, physical possession, of that company's bare shares. Yeah. The piece of paper, the deed to his empire, it would all come down to that, wouldn't it? And if it was in possession of that piece of paper, where do you think he'd keep it? Think he'd put it in the safe? Yep. Got him. In the manila In the false bond of that safe. Now I don't go. And as I said, I'm able to make you a very fair offer. So, one seventy-five. So I, I know that a lot of you have been through a lot, and, and I appreciate your patience. Why are you turning down money? Money, money for what? what? Shut up, boy. It's a it's fucking fact. fact. Okay, here's your seven grand. It's Gary Silverberg. Please leave a detailed message after the beep. Oh, she misses him. She left that voicemail on his phone? She left that voicemail for him? Wow, she really likes him. Why is he doing this to himself? I've been trying to tell you since yesterday about that half built house on Sunrise Beach. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. And I did it for our family. What did you do today? For our family. <laughs> the comedic timing of that was nice. Bobby AJ. Bobby Lean. Is this his lawyer or something? He don't, I already feel like he's gonna try to get back at Marty for revenge. I, I know he's not gonna let this go because he done, I'm sure he's been the owner of that club for a while. So he's not just gonna let Marty take his shit like that. my safe. That's just that. I just found a leak. I mean, who? Oh, the girl. Yes. The girl. The girl that danced for him. That's who told him. You won't let me in, please. What's the tea, honey? In this case, what's yeah, the lemonade? Strolling along the country lane talking about going to be in a minute then. Finishes the bottle and throws it on the path. When the elderly frowns, Redneck says, Judge not, lest he be judged. When the elderly frowns again, Redneck says, You just dubbed me, you sin twice. 
Well, on God, smacks written in death. Kill them. Forever silent and diligent. Digs red in his grave. Fashions the humble tombstone from the empty bottom and walks on. That eve, he witnesses the most beautiful sunset ever for me. I need a second just to process what just happened. I was not expecting him to die like that. I thought he was going to kind of be like an antagonist of Marty's, maybe try to get some revenge. I did not expect him to die. I thought the guy he was just talking to was like somebody who was supposed to help him. Wow. Wow, I was not expecting that. Damn. The fuck? I like how they ended that um, with the monologue that he started the episode off with and it was him basically um, Uh, let his son know how to launder money. Um, just to recap everything, Marty's moving things along. He now has two businesses, um, Strip Club and Blue Cat Lodge. Um, Blue Cat Lodge, it looks like business has been steady and now he's about to add the Strip Club, so we're going to see how that does. Um, as far as his wife buying the home that she saw on the property, I guess she's gonna maybe Airbnb it out or something like that to generate steady income. And I think it'll probably help just because she made such a, it was kind of like made a big deal throughout the episode. So I feel like this is something that's gonna be like beneficial for them as far as revenue. Um, what else happened? Jonah with the animals, that's, a little creepy that he does that but again i don't feel like he's like a sinister child so i don't think he's actually trying to kill animals i think maybe he just finds them and then i don't know i hope he's not i wasn't sure if that was what i was supposed to get from that is that he purposely killed it just to see how vultures uh behave in the wild that would be kind of weird if that's what he was doing but if not it could like um Wendy was saying it could just be a child phase um Charlotte in this episode was funny because she was just fed up with her parents like she kind of acts like an adult with how like she's very like cut the bullshit get straight to it 
tell me the truth be honest like i like that about her what else again i'm so surprised that dude from the club got killed what was his name dean something dean i can't believe he got killed like that and why did he owe money to somebody or maybe he was no longer an asset because he didn't have the club anymore so he couldn't wash money anymore and maybe those were the people he was washing money for maybe that's what it was because that just took me <laughs> what the fuck i was not expecting that ruth continues to be ruthless very much like all about her money which i'm not mad at but yeah um you can see that the views where they live aren't all of that progressive just because of how ruth's boyfriend reacted to finding out that the fbi agent was gay so he immediately was like i don't even want to <laughs> i don't even want to hang with him no more like oh uh, i think that's everything i was trying to remember everything that happened in the episode but i think that was everything um but yeah cool episode um not so much action i just think it was more so to help keep the plot moving along so yeah I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.